Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Just give me a second while I ping the Discord, and we'll have a little bit of hello people, shall we? You guys can enjoy uh, the sunset over the ever-increasingly sized Ilos. And then we'll put a link on Twitter as well. And then we can have a little bit of hello people. Hey Marco, welcome to the stream, mate Jared as well. Welcome in guys. Give me a second, Ravi Ping Twitter. And then we can have a little catch up. Hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend so far. Having a rainy one in the UK. Alright, oh, cool. Hey Jude, Renee, welcome into the stream guys. So we got some fun plans today. Uh, we'll sit and uh, wait for a few people to arrive and we'll have a little bit of a catch up. You guys can enjoy this immense shot of Ilosum up here. Big city now, isn't it? <laughs> look, how, look how wide it is. It just goes forever. Yeah. All the valley floor just filled with that blanket of lights. Long time building to get that view, everyone, but uh, it's worth it, I think. It is worth it. Hey, Star. Welcome in. How you doing, mate? G, Mickey, Deaxis, Sargon, Ott. Welcome in, guys. Rudy. Martin. Welcome in, everyone. Ian B. Hello. So yes, let's head over to um last episode's build. And we worked on our little boneyard over here. Hopefully you guys have managed to see it from yesterday, if you haven't already. Then of course, spoilers ahead. Yes, really fun, very unique sort of build putting this together. The uh, the Ilos boneyard. But uh, I think it it hits a vibe, I think, doesn't it? It's sort of at least accurate to what we saw in Tucson, at least I think anyway. It's a uh, really unique sort of areas, just very alien to me in the northwest of the UK, <laughs> having something like this, but very cool nonetheless. Uh, Stuart, Andreas, DM, Jason, welcome in guys, how you doing? Happy Saturday to you all. Um, anyway, today um, we're going to start by jumping into Google Earth, because um, for once I actually know what I want to do in an ILOS stream. So throughout ILOS, um, over the... 11 months that it's been going now, there's been a, like a real distinct lack of parks sort of across the city as a general kind of rule of thumb. Um, so we're going to sort of do some park building today and I found a really interesting spot of the Margrid. So this is the Pioneer Community Park and it's kind of southeast of Sun City on the diagonal road into downtown Phoenix through Glendale. Uh, and there's some inspiration to take here. So there's industrial areas we've covered that a million times in Alice before already and um, we can definitely get some generic industrial patterns in but then there's a load of baseball fields and um, a lot of car parking and then just some green space just actual green spaces and then of course some random fields like there's a farm here with a bowling alley in the middle of it <laughs> which is like the most insane thing like just welcome to phoenix everyone right if there's a screenshot to sum up phoenix it's this one right here isn't it car park with a field so yeah, I just want to take some inspiration from this very specific part of uh, Glendale today uh, and just do some nice parky stuff. So I think that should be quite fun. We'll get a a, um, a coven in there as well today. A wide boy. Yes, we will actually give a shout out to the wide boy, everyone. If you haven't seen um, the Roboco video, uh, please go ahead and check it out. And um, we will occasionally pull up um, the thunderous gentleman to, uh, yeah, just... <laughs> just so we can see it, basically, I think. Yes, thank you for those that watched the Robco video, uh, the Robco one. It, uh, it did horrendously in terms of performance, but we got the thunderous gentleman out of it, so um, I think we can call it a win there, can't we? Um, so this space here, um, right in the edge of Main Street, is where I'm thinking we're going to sort of play with today's vibes. So let's just go ahead and sort of remove all of this framing, because this is set up for kind of low density residential really. It's not really sort of the frames we want to be working with today. I imagine that bulldozer noise is very loud, I'm so sorry. And then let's delete this here too. Okay, so we've got a nice big empty Margaret box to play with. Let's see what we can do. So the first kind of major feature of this um, parkland here in Phoenix is obviously the lake. So that's going to be something we want to get in first. Uh, hey Lauren, Freedon. Arde, welcome in everyone. Hey Arde, we haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're okay. Nice to have you back in a live stream. 
Uh, we played Foundation on the channel last week, actually. Your, your Foundation always reminds me of you due to your just immense tips that you dropped in the first sort of run when we played it. A big shout out to our day's Foundation knowledge, everyone. Okay, but welcome to the stream, everyone. I hope you're having a good weekend. Alright, so let's go ahead and just chisel out a little sort of lake shape, I guess. Don't just want it perfect to round either. So let's have it probably a little bit too deep there, actually, I imagine. Let's cut that back a little bit. Then we definitely want to have this road coming in as well. There'll probably be a car park here, so let's sort of trim it off with that road guideline there, if you like. And then why don't we sort of differentiate its shape a little bit through here. Right, just so it's not kind of a perfect square. Let's also maybe add a few little lumps and bumps along the shorelines so it's not totally straight. That should do as a job, I think. Should be alright. Uh, I'm here for the Jerry Law, yes. <laughs> I think that's what most people are here for now. At uh, this stage of Alice's life cycle. Yes, people are um, enjoying the Jerry Law, especially last weekend. With the, where his, his sort of love interest was revealed, if you like. Okay. Wonderful. Hey Thomas, welcome into the stream, mate. Um, you've got to do a thunderous gentleman grid. Um, how would that work, Freyden? What what would a thunderous gentleman grid be like? Um, it's good to be back. I had an aneurysm in August. It was also in a stroke. Oh my god, are they? That's horrendous news. I hope you're okay. That's uh, that's not something fun to go through at all. Our thoughts with you, Ardy. I'm so sorry to hear that. The amount of lakes and water features in the desert has been the biggest surprise going through Google Earth and in Ilos. Isn't it just Jared? Yes, um, Phoenix is surprisingly green compared to, I think, what it was a lot of us assume that it just isn't that much of a green city, is it? But it is. It's, it's surprisingly green. Right. Which is probably what Donkey thought when he first saw Shrek, I guess. Hey Connor, welcome to the stream, mate. Firefly and Hustle as well. Welcome to the stream, guys. Alright, let's just let this water fill up. And then let's just have a little glance back to Google Earth. We're playing with a fair bit of sand and grass today, so it's a little bit of an awkward one. Um, so let's come with a little bit of Service Painter. Of course, we've got our sand uh, texture for Ilos for making green spaces. So I think basically all around the edge of the lake is to become green, apart from the opposite side of the road. Trim those back. It's a very awkward tool, this one. For surface painting in grass, but it's a solution for Ilos, at least. Okay, why don't we have this sort of top corner bit a little bit grassy, or a little bit sandy, rather. Let's trim back a little bit of that there. Okay. Nice little lake. Sort of get an impression of it of the size of how it sits within the overall sort of layout of Ilos. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too big, not too small either. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Not bad. I think I'm happy with the shape of the lake. Let's come ahead and grab some roads. Um, we're using this one here, which is the two lane with no median. And I think we'll, we'll probably just stick to this one. And then we'll just sort of stick in measurements of 10. Um, and then kind of meander around the edge of the lake. Get some slightly more interesting road shapes in. And this one down by 20. And then we'll have it sort of come out. And hopefully just meander around in a fairly sort of interesting shape, I suppose. It's not too bad, is it? Probably could have done that with that multi tool as well. Uh, my next hit single, surprisingly green, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, we did you check out the ponds in the fish reservoir in the middle of the Mar grid with the London Marbury in it. We could have been there before, Marco. Off the top of my head, I'm probably going to say no, but we can go there today if we've got time, for sure. I'm always happy to go check out sort of weird, random places in Phoenix. Uh, okay, let's just, again, quick glance back at Google Earth because I want to see how our... Um, car parks orientated. So we kind of got this entrance road here. I don't know if I'm going to include the mass baseball field. Yeah, it's just, it's a bit... I don't want to use the word obnoxious, but I think it kind of is for 
trying to implement that into cities with the baseball asset we've got. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. But uh, yeah, the meat and potatoes is the car park in here, so it's sort of it changes its orientation as it comes up to the lake, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine then. We can sort of have a look at that. And um, you could make a thunderous park, I guess, just a dark green square with eyes and a mouthpieces with the assets, maybe near the robotics facility. Yeah, yeah, we could get some uh, thunderous gentleman law in. Um, the love interest idea was up here. Uh, on top of the hill behind the eyeless sign. The, um, yeah, one of the aliens has found love in the form of Jerry, of course, and... You know, he's now torn between... Grassing her up for being an illegal alien, quite literally. Um, or, you know, enjoying a life with her. It's the trials and tribulations of the equine policeman. Okay. Alright. Cool. Anyway, car parked. Let's not get distracted. Go ahead and bring this up. So let's do just a big stretch of service road at the minute, and then we'll just sort of see how things are going to orientate with these car parts. So we've got one, two, three, four. So we can probably do that with a couple of these, I imagine. Let's go ahead onto a road guideline. On road length on as well, really. And then let's do 15. And then we'll do this. Twice. Of course I'm not going for the scale of Phoenix, it's really just an inspiration here today. Then we'll have this come up by five more, and then we'll feed that back into the road. And then we'll do, again, a couple more uh, little car parks here, where we'll do stretches uh, of ten, I think. And we're leaving a tile between each stretch of car park. So we'll go for about that. There we go. That's the first one on the stream. And then we can tie those off with a little bit more service road. I think I don't want it to be totally symmetrical either, so why don't we do one more stretch here? Okay. I've just realised I've alternated between poorly maintained and not poorly maintained, haven't I? Let me change that. There we go. Cool. All right. Set one in. Let's not win in. Let's have a hydration break as well, 10 minutes into the stream. And a posture check as well, Beyond. Stretch your spines out. Please correct your postures. It's important we take care of our spines. Uh, yo, are we? I think you've become known amongst the city's community as one of the best. CityZilla even used your work as an example. He's good. Thank you so much, Hustle Life. That's very kind of you to say. Uh, did CityZilla use what, some of my work? I haven't seen that. You'll have to let me know where. I'll go and say thank you for uh, shouting it out. Well, thank you. I appreciate the words, Hustle. That's very nice of you to say. Um, egg, I don't want to use the word obnoxious, what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've got to get away from that one, was I? I'm um, just saying hi, we'll watch the live stream later, I need to catch a train, have a safe journey, does. Appreciate you stopping by, mate. Um, maybe you can steal a baseball sub-building from one of the stadiums, that's a good shout, EMB. Hadn't considered that, we will see if we can do it. There is already a full baseball park field in Ilos. There is, Jared, but there's also like many more than just one in Phoenix, so we could do another one if we want. That's the park's name, Thunderous Park. Got a little bit. Yeah, I'm happy to name the park. Yeah, we can do some Thunderous Park. Maybe like a little mural within the park that is the Thunderous Gentleman. I'd be happy to do that. Um, for me, Jerry is a centaur. What is the Jerry's? <laughs> what is Jerry's horse's name? Um, that's a point of contention, I think, within the community. Are they? Um, there are some that believe that Jerry is the horse. Um, others believe that. Um. The policeman is Jerry, of course. That would be the obvious shout. But it's I think it's kind of lost knowledge. Yeah, I don't think anyone really knows anymore. Like, not even Jerry himself. Yeah. Not sure. <laughs> not sure is the other two question. Yes. I'm glad that you've all managed to buy into the idiocy that is kind of the Jerry law. <laughs> I <laughs> really thought when we started doing it, like, people just going to be comment like, would this guy just build a city and stop talking about these stupid aliens? But I appreciate you all in, uh, sort of indulging my idiotness, <laughs> I suppose. The dog is not dead. It's not dead, no. I'm not having a dead dog as part of Biles' law. Like, that comes up every week now. It's asleep. 
to accept it. <laughs> it's sleeping. Not dead. Cool. And then looks like we just want to actually grab these two nodes here. And just give them a little slide along if we can. There we go. That should do us. Okay, so this should start to function um, a little bit now. Um, again, what I would like to do, because we're extremely anal about Google Earth, is to see if we can get a street view and just see what sort of details we're playing with within the car parking spaces themselves. Hey, Exe, welcome into the stream, mate. How you doing? Happy Saturday, buddy. Um, Jerry and Legend versus Aliens. Oh yeah, didn't someone say it's called Legend? Wasn't that Jen's idea that the horse is called Legend? I'm, I'm not sure. Um, okay. But in terms, you know what, this this car park is perfect for parking lot road, uh, big parking lots, but we can't justify the nodes. And, but in terms of detailing, really small, cute green trees. There's a flag over there as well. We can definitely bring the Ilos flag into the park. Um, lights, little bits of rocks, very tiny bushes. In terms of our car park detailing, it's easily done, isn't it? Happy days. Cool. Uh, so I think I'm going to come in and paint in a little bit of gravel, actually, because it did look like gravel that was uh, knocking about between the car parks themselves. So we'll do that in a number of places. Let's go ahead and do this. Do we want any gravel between the road and the car park, or does that look odd? That looks odd. I don't like that. I think I actually might bring grass through here instead. You kind of forget how much you enjoy building parks, you know, when you spend so much building kind of like the insane infrastructure of Phoenix. Um, and you sort of neglect to play cities the way you perhaps normally would. I think that's definitely been the case as I've been building Isla. So like, there's been no way near as many sort of park life areas. And Isla's grew very quickly compared to the way we usually play cities. We're usually very slow, but I don't know, by episode, what, three or four, Isla was at maybe like 20k population. It's a, it's a quick start. And that place style kind of hasn't changed, which has left us to have very little park areas, which is, of course, the point of today's stream. The dog is always asleep. That's pretty sus. Maybe the aliens have paid him off to kind of turn a blind eye. I'd be happy to add that into the lore if you want, if you fancy it, Jason. Yeah, I got on board with that, mate. And Egg, did you finally watch John Wick? I've not, mate. No, I'm sorry. I've had a really busy family week. Um, I've just not really had much recreational time, I suppose. Um, you're going to have to accept my apologies. I will get around to watching it, I promise. But, uh, yeah, not not this week, mate. Sorry to let you know. Okay, so let's just run with a little pattern here. Some trees and bushes. Um, I do want some very small bushes, if at all possible. Just a green... Actually, those are the trees that we sort of saw. They're very, very similar to what's actually in Phoenix. Who would have guessed in an asset collection that is based off of Phoenix? Okay, that's not too bad. Yes, Baseball Park, yes. So hello TC, welcome to the stream mate. I can't remember if I said good morning to you. I think I did, did I? But you were welcome mate. Welcome in. Egg, thanks mate, about as clear as mud. <laughs> you welcome out, mate. No worries at all, anytime. <laughs> You know where I am if you need an explanation of the law of my own cities, which I don't really understand these days. Okay, well, it's not mass copy and paste here. Let's um, let's keep coming in with some, uh, perhaps tasteful. I'm I'm trying not to do repeated patterns, but it's it's kind of hard. I need to just be more sporadic with the placements and like, randomly changing them up here. It's too tall for what I want. There's no saguaros here. Um. I think a little bit of brown weed might be welcome though, I think. Just occasionally. Not too much of it, because it is quite dominant. Some drier grasses through there as well, maybe. Uh, and then lots more green. Maybe some palm plants, actually. These are welcome. Do you like a palm plant? Mm. Yeah, this is alright, I think. Not the worst. It's car park design, isn't it? You can't really do it badly, I don't think. Okay. Wonderful. 
Uh, all right, let's do the. I say, I just, just want to test the baseball park thing first. How many are in Phoenix? A lot, isn't it? There's like three baseball fields per half of the area. It's, it's going to be too big. I already know it's too big. It's going to fill too much space. Um, yeah, it's like three. That's uh. Why have you guys not got any grass? You all right? Do you want to try that again? That is the strangest thing. Ooh, doesn't like this, does it? Something about this area that it doesn't like. Um, is that a clear, a service pair issue? Or just an asset issue? I haven't seen them behave like that before. We copy and paste this one with the grass. Does it like that? Yes, it does. Very, very weird. All right, but let's just have a look at them. Um, so they're essentially arranged like this. Again, I think just with this particular baseball asset we have, it's not going to be particularly viable. We'll have this pattern in. And I can't bob them because they are used elsewhere in the city. I guess we could do four. Four of them might be acceptable. And we can just sort of have it positioned like here. It gives us the vibe that we see in Phoenix. It's going to take some finagling though with these lights because they are encroaching upon the field. Okay, if we do it like that, are we happy with that? I think I am. I think we can do that and then just du duplicate it up. Oh my word. Um, Open Mindset has been a member for eight months. Maybe the name of the dog is Chill. <laughs> it's Chill. Yes, it can be. It can be Open Mindset. Thank you so much for eight months membership, mate. That's insane. I appreciate the support. Um, hey Beth, welcome into the stream as well. I like the idea of the horse's name being Chill. So the future episodes featuring Jerry have to be named the Avengers of Jerry and Chill and Chill. <laughs> yeah, we could do. Yeah, we could. Um, oh dear, you have potentially triggered the Saguaro pronunciation, please. Have I? I've been. I thought I've been saying that one all right. Am I saying it wrong? I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments either way. They usually do. Uh, hey, Jen and DJ, welcome into the stream, ladies. How are you both? Happy Saturday to you. Um, I have to leave for a meeting, but I've caught the first 20 minutes or so of the stream. Enjoy the stream, everyone. Thanks for streaming away. Thank you, Marco. Enjoy the meeting, buddy. Hope it goes well. Uh, the mums are here now to keep us all, <laughs> keep us all in line. That's Diaxus's words, not mine. Um, hey, Marcus, welcome to the stream, mate. Nice to see you. More importantly, how's Muhammad? Yes, how is Muhammad, Jen? We're all keen to know. Yes, we're all keen to know. Cool. There you go. Yes, Jen is here now to arrange the ILOS law for me. She usually does. All right, but I think I'm going to go with this. It's bold, and it will take some finagling to make it work, but we're going to do it. No, we are going to do it. Sort of position them so that concrete space just about joins together. And that should, that should give it a, a vibe. We're going to come back to that, <laughs> clearly. Okay, um, but again, there's another thing I want to check from Google Earth. It's to... Uh, how this park actually looks from the road. Do we have fencing around it? Is there anything nearby that we need to factor into the build yet? Um, so there's like a big rock feature around the edge of the lake, isn't there? Also a pathway. Can we get a street view here? Uh, yes, we can. Looks like there's some sculptures there as well. They might go nicely with the modern art stuff. Okay, yeah, so it's like a, it's a walking pathway through gravel with flowers and rocks in it, isn't it? It's essentially the same thing all the way around, and then you see the water um, in the main park itself. And then we've got some little models here. And um, there is a building down this side of the road. Uh, also a bus stop here as well, if you want to bring some buses in. Um, yes, this one here, what is this place? American Standard Heating and Air Conditioning. Okay, serving the valley since 1957. And the hiring as well, if anyone wants a career change. What the hell? That's a glitch in the camera, right? That's not a six-wheel car. I'm assuming that's not just the most American thing ever, and there's a glitch within the Street View camera. Um, it looks as though there's scrap behind that, though. 
I'm guessing it's air, it's air conditioning supplies, isn't it? Yeah, you can see all the air conditioners here. Okay. And we do have some air conditioning props on the game, actually, from the base game and off buildings and stuff. So we could do something like that. A little air conditioned scrap yard. I guess it'd be a supply yard, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be scrap. Okay, but yeah, that's what I wanted to see was just how the park sat against the road. So we've got a lot of gravel, a lot of rocks and pathways and bushes and whatnot. That's fine by me. We can do something like that. Cool. Um, so where are we going to take this? Where do we want to put the gravel painter to first of all? Is this going to look really weird on the edge of the lake? Ooh, yes, it does a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we go for gravel painter. I think we keep it as grass and just have the, the pathway on the grass itself. Uh, which we will do now. Um, in terms of a pathway choice... Um... There's not too much dissimilarity between the ones on the ground anyway, is there? I think I'm going to go for Zoo Path though, just because I prefer that paler texture. Rather than the... Con oh, it is quite grey in Phoenix though. I don't know. Path, path or Zoo Path, everyone. You can choose for me. Well, we have... Uh, my posture is terrible, everyone. Please do um check the postures if you're watching the live stream. Okay. Okay, so we're keeping the horse named as Legend. All right, Jen. All right. Quite well, are we? Thanks. Glad to hear, DJ. Glad to hear. Um, I've been copying your Palavan guide playing on console. Thanks, Zeg. No worries, Anthony. Well, it can help, mate. I hope you're enjoying Palavan. That is a, a much-loved city, mate. I hope you enjoy the series. Well, it's managed, managing to help you play. Uh, Noob's Guide is also a good series to follow as well. If you're looking for, like, follow-along builds, that's a little bit more tutorial-focused than Palavan is. Um, oh, it's Ott's birthday, is it? Um, oh, yes, it is. I'm supposed to go to my house on my birthday party, but somehow the stream is more exciting. Happy birthday, Ott. I hope you yeah, have a good day, mate. And yes, you should go and clean the house, otherwise you're going to have, like, an anxious birthday party. Uh, with some chain link fencing, we can definitely squeeze some chain link fencing in somewhere, Rudy, 100%. Not this side of the park, but definitely over near the baseball fields we can. Uh, some plazas and promenades road work combined with surface painter. I think plazas and promenades is a little bit too chunky for this area. I do like the idea of a plazas road circling a lake, though. Maybe elsewhere in Idol CMB. That's a good shout, though. Um, I like that it looks like a moth or a butterfly arranged just so. I'm not sure what you're talking about, are they? <laughs> but I think it's a good thing. Um, zoo path, everyone's path, but no grass, says 2C. Zoo, zoo, zoo path, zoo, 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 zoo. Okay. I think we're going to go for Zoo Path then, and 2C probably actually raises a good point there. Maybe this would look better on, without the grass this side of the lake. Um, it's running in the gravel in Phoenix. And then we can just have the grass sort of around here, because we want to do some gazebos and stuff and whatnot, actual park space. I think that's a good shout 2C. Cool. Uh, right, what am I doing? Pathways. We went for zoo path, didn't we? Yes. Okay, so let's do zoo pathway and then we'll just sort of create a general, very cute flowing space for this pathway to occupy around the edge of the lake. So are we calling the lake Lake Thunder? Lake Thunderous? Or is the park being Thunderous, gentlemen? I need like a a, a, a criteria for the naming. You're going to have to let me know what you, want, what you guys want it as. For those who are aware of Thunderous, who aren't aware uh, of Thunderous gentlemen as well, by the way, and um, please go check out the Roboco video on the channel this week if you missed it. Okay, so just a few obvious connections into those areas, into all the pedestrian crossings. Okay, and then let's go ahead and get some rocks in too. Uh, so these small ones from the workshop should do as a job. Harry Detail. Yeah, these are absolutely perfect. Is there anything a bit bigger than that though? They're all a bit dinky, aren't they? I mean, the dinky in Phoenix. Maybe some larger rocks on the edge of the lake. I don't feel like it's that sort of lake though. That's a little bit wild for me, I think. Yeah, let's just go for these cute little rocks. They do change size every time we place them, which is actually massively convenient. My thank you to the workshop editor. Got 96 of you here as well, everyone. Thank you for hanging out on a Saturday afternoon for some Milos Live. 
Hope you're having a nice day. Uh, we did have rocks in the actual car parking spaces themselves here, didn't we, as well? We should put some of these in. Right, up to there. Okay. Wide Boy Lake at Thunder... <laughs> the Thunder's Park. Yeah, I can go for that. I like that one. I like that name. Um... Neither the lake nor this piece of land have the necessary relentless squareness that a thunderous gentleman requires. Um, the overall shape is quite square, isn't it? It's just the road networks through the middle that aren't. But, yeah, I guess so. But we're going to name it anyway, because it's the joke at the moment. It's not going to be funny next week, is it? So we need to um, get the blood out of the stone, so to speak, while we still can. Uh, okay, so we're going to have the park area here. And that's where I'm, I'm going to go with Jason's idea of thing. Wide Boy Lake at Thunderous Park. I think I'm on board with that. Unless anyone's got any funnier suggestions down below. Alright, hey Governor, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. How are you? Okay. So we'll go for this for right now. If anything else better comes up in the stream, then we can do that. Um, oh no, this is Wide Boy Lake, isn't it? And then we'll make this Margrid frame um, as a district. So it can be called Thunderous Park or something like that. Bring it down here. Try and keep it neat for Exy. I know he'll appreciate that. It's a little bit dodgy around there, isn't it? Hold on, let me sort that out. There we go. Cool. We must be coming up to our district limit soon, actually. It's, um... Yeah, we must need it. Um, and then... Uh, what was it? Where's Jason's comment gone? Thunderous Park, wasn't it? Yes, there we go. Cool. Uh, flag, wasn't it? That's what we had. Flag. We had the American flag at the entrance to this park, so we'll go for the um, ILOS flag at any number of different places here. Perhaps one in the middle as well. And I feel like I want a planter for that though. A little brick planter in the middle. And then we'll get the flag. We'll detail this area later, obviously. It's vastly undetailed at the minute. Alright, cool. We get some Alice flags knocking about now. It's starting to come together. Now let's continue to develop this lakeside pathway. Um, for what we need a couple of different bushes. I think the best way to approach this is to kind of get the park space in a shot and then just place the same variety of tree and then just keep changing it up. Try to be fairly random with the placements, of course. Get some regular bush through there too. I mean, like when you look at Phoenix, there's so many different like park designs and little designs you can take them in. So sort of little other details around them, the theme of them, is whether it's grass or is it or gravel. I feel like it's just been something that's been neglected in Ilos is all the park space. I think it's because it's the first time playing with mods as well. I've kind of ignored the base game functionality a lot of the time. Uh, okay. A bit more green around this area. Mm. I do like those tiny trees. I do wonder if that's a little bit sort of pissing in the ocean vibes, though. I don't know how much of a difference that's making. Uh, can we maybe move up a tree size? Is there anything in here we like? I think some of these acacias might be quite welcome, actually, along the pathway. Providing a touch of shade and refuge from the idle seat, perhaps. And don't really want to go any taller than that if we can help it. Let's come back down to some small bushes. I feel like this area here is a little bit naked. Um, some little orange and yellow bushes as well. Sort of in theme with the Ilos flag at the entrance to the park. Something like that. 
And then we can do some larger bits of brown grass knocking about. Cool. This should give us a decent sort of impression, right? I think I'm happy with that. We might want to add another stop onto the tram here now as well. It's passing by something that I can come down to here. I think I like that. 128 is the limit for districts, I think. And um, we can find out. I will turn on my watch it panel. Um, there we go. Have a little look. Uh, districts. 128. Oh, yeah, we're actually nowhere near. Yeah, we're still left than half. We should be alright. Up to 76% node count now, though. We did just save a bunch of nodes building this park, actually, by taking all those road frames out of it. Quite handy. Have some undergrowth might add to the composition. I agree with that, EMB. EMB is full of good ideas today. Um, yeah, just around perhaps where some of the larger tree clusters sit would be a good shot for some undergrowth here. Maybe just some on that own as well. Yeah. Alright. Hey everyone, so nice to catch a stream. Hey Grumpy, uh, Jarrup's been watching the Palavan videos. So nice one actually. Oh, we had two new Palavan people in today. Uh, welcome in Grumpy. It's nice to meet you buddy. Welcome to the stream. Uh, a fire watchtower at one of the corners of the lake. So it looks like thick pots, little antenna. Good shout Brian, I like that idea actually. Um, yeah, a fire watchtower probably would be nice here. Uh, probably a fire helicopter depot somewhere in the park as well, so they can get quick access to the lake. Um, does this have any props on it? Yeah, it's okay. I think we can leave that there. Uh, good morning from the US. Good morning, Gaming Ages. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How are you? Uh, the desert detailing is why I show up. Glad to hear, Jason. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Is that the vanilla tram road? Um, it's the... This one here is, yes. This one down Main Street is the Vanilla Plus one, the six lane variant. What this one here is Vanilla, uh, Tram Road 2C, yes. Okay, I think I'm happy with this little green belt that flows around the edge of the lake here. I think we've managed to hit something relatively close to what we've seen in Phoenix, I think. I love that you can see the baseball fields from across the uh, sort of park as well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, tram stop then. Where does the tram currently stop at the minute? Because it's going to be nice to have one by the park, isn't it? Um, oh, it does stop here at the moment, so it's already got access onto those areas. And then there's a stop at the Valley Lad Medical Center here, isn't there? Yeah, so it doesn't really need an extra stop, actually. It's, it's actually all right. Cool. Um, does the district count include all types of district or just the larger um, general ones and leave out industry park, etc.? Um, not a clue, Jason. Should we find out together? So currently we are on um, 52 districts. If I go ahead and paint out an industry area, for example, does that count toward it? It would appear not. No, it looks like it is just actual districts. Um... Paint one of these, does it count? Oh, actually, does it take a minute to update? No, it hasn't counted that. Oh, yeah, there you go. It has counted that one. Yeah, so it is just actual generic districts. It doesn't seem to include um, industrial areas or part life areas within that count. Um, okay. Cool. So let's return our attention to this baseball field here because this is going to be a an awkward integration, I think, isn't it? Let's head back to Google Earth and see what's happening. So, we've got our car parks in now. And uh, hello to the 101 of you here as well watching, guys. Hope happy, happy Saturday to you all. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, so, we've got our car parking, okay? It's obviously a lot bigger in Phoenix, but... Um, oh, there's a little bit of asymmetry there as well, isn't there? There's two lanes coming out onto the road, one in. Okay. Um... But yeah, in terms of actual, like, dog, or not dog park, actual, like, park attractions, there is a dog park here. 
there's like a distinct lack of street view in this part of Phoenix. Can we like see what this is? It looks like a amusement park pathway flowing over a green field, doesn't it? But there's something in it. Okay, so this is a like very specific dog park. But there's chain link fencing all the way around it. So it's a big green space that's been sectioned up with chain link fencing into three separate green spaces. And I guess they're just enclosed fields for the dogs to play, right? That's my interpretation of this space, I think. Very cute design we can follow here, though. Okay, anyway, that's not what we're here to do. We will do that in a second. Um, and then, yeah, this is what we want to do. So we've got a pathway that kind of comes through the middle. And then there's a big kind of like amusement park pathway that hugs all the outside of the baseball fields before it links back in with the rest of the park space. There's another car park along the bottom of it as well, which we could do. All right. Okay. Cool. Egg, you need some of the weed clusters assets to use for overgrowth. Um, yes, we've got some in here, I think, haven't we? Yeah, we've got some knocking about here. They are there. They're just, you can't really see them as you close up to it. Um, I need a second cup of coffee too. Head off Star, go make yourself a broommate. Two C's making his second cup. Um, it's probably divided by dog size. Okay, that makes more sense. Or divided by awake dogs and <laughs> sleeping dogs, yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah, divided by awake or sleeping dogs. DM's got it. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with what DM said. <laughs> divided by awake dogs and sleeping dogs. Yes. Uh, okay, so we want to surface paint these baseball fields to get rid of the uh, um, the grass sprites that come through them. Uh, just slight annoyance with this asset. I hope we do get more stuff like this in cities. I think it's really annoying that the only sports we can add in the vanilla game is tennis and basketball. Um, outside of things like the varsity stadiums, obviously. But they're huge. Um, okay. Let's keep going here. Let's paint all this up. Let's make it all sand or gravel. Right up to this point. Uh, right through here as well for a little bit. We'll worry about sort of rough edges once we come to complete this little part of the park. There we go. Cool. Okay, um, so first of all we need to see if they're disconnected. Yes, all of you are disconnected, of course you are. Um, can we do a building spawn point with you? No, because you're a park. What orientation do these sit at, I wonder? That's their connection there on the road. That one. Okay, with that in mind then, I think we're going to slightly change the orientation of this baseball part design. Because they need to be angled this way. Let's have the first one in here. Second one has to be angled that way as well. Actually makes them a lot easier to fit together like this. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. And let's not forget as well that we do have... Um, a pathway that wants to come through the middle of all this, so let's save room for that to develop. Okay, then you're going to need to rotate this way around. We will bring in a road to allow his connection to register. Which we'll do now. Um, let's just use generic American road number three. There we go, and then you will... You come off like that and behave yourself. It looks like you will, actually. Yeah, just know to control that out a little bit. Just square everyone off. Makes the road a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Uh, and then you, Mr. Road, just come down for right now. We'll decide exactly where you terminate. And then hopefully this little field here should just connect in on the wrong orientation. So you will need to be moved Move to this side. Try and keep it somewhat level. There we go. And then you want to come over here, ideally. That road is ever so slightly encroaching, isn't it? Well, the, um, what's it called? 
little stands, bleachers is the word I'm looking for. Okay, and then we can just wrap this road back down on that one into the road, which will give it its connection, and wonderful. Sure. Kind of loses a little bit of its shape and design that we're taking from Phoenix, but I'm happy to have some more baseball fields in the city. We don't really have that many at the minute. Cool. Lots of gravel through here. Right, and then we'll do something different with this one. Where's the Margrid divide with the surface painter straight up here? Okay, that should be quite easy to do. Um, thanks for touch, Dag. I have to go. Great as always. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for hanging out the stream, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. And then bring it across there. There we go. And then we can just trim all that up. And maybe do a little car park in here or something. Or just maybe introduce a little bit of green space back in. Don't know how well that would work. With the... It's actually, it's a very harsh transition, but I don't mind it. We can definitely do something with that. Okay. Okay, so we've got our baseball park field. I actually do like the way it does that with all the lights. All the uh, like floodlights are on the edge of the parks now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm enjoying that one, I think. Cool, okay. So again, let's have a little quick glance back here. So there's definitely, again, I'm gonna... I probably need the opinions of the Americans here, actually, because there's a lot of park stuff I'm not familiar with. Um. Okay, so we've got our configuration in. There is a big fence and capturing the whole baseball park, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay. Pioneer Community Park. More to use in softball fields. Oh, is it softball? Is softball different to baseball? It is, isn't it? So the softball fields, are they? they? Um, yes, big fence going all the way around the edge of it. Which I guess would be for balls, right? Stray balls, etc. Um... Okay, yeah, that goes all the way around the edge, doesn't it? With several entrances back into the baseball field, actually, from there, through that gate. Okay. Um, but yeah, this place here, so it looks like a load of sun covers, I'm guessing it. It's a, it's a water park, isn't it? Pioneer Park Splash Pad. Playground in Arizona. Okay, it's a little water park under a lot of sun shelters, I'm guessing. I mean, we can do that with the concrete covers that we've got. And then it links back in with the pathway that comes around the edge of the lake. Okay, I want to see if we can replicate this. I think I've got an idea for what we can do um, over here. And um, that looks like a nice picnic turf, picnic area with a cafe. Are you talking about this one here? Yeah, we could do a little picnic turf here. Maybe a little bit further into the park, though. It feels a little bit weird having it right next to one of the main roads. I guess it's Phoenix, isn't it? There's nothing weird in the world. Every everything is so weird that nothing is weird in Phoenix. Um, so I think if we use our concrete cover, which should come under a prop. What's it called? Why can't I imagine the name of what that asset is called? And um, we're gonna have to go and find it. It's somewhere in the city. I know where there is one. Um, this asset. Why can't I find you? What are you called? Oh, now you're recoding me. Okay, I'll just copy and paste with me, but then. Uh, and yeah, let's drop them in here. So we can definitely bring that sort of vibe in. Um, where we have some of these concrete sun shelters. Okay, but then we need to come up with an asset for a playground, so we could just use the regular um, part life one and then just prop anarchy the sun shelters into it. We're of course not going to get the water park vibe because we don't have those assets. Or I could actually add in the jets, um, the water jets. This is going to look ridiculous though, isn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, I don't know. Can we get away with the water jets to kind of bring in the water park, play park thing that's in Phoenix? Or does that just look absolutely naff? I've also just realised that Chirpy's face is all over this. Never noticed that before. I don't know. Let me know what you think of the water jet. Why indeed we do have a hydration break, but you kind of get the general theme of what we can do from something in Phoenix, right? Um, softball fields are smaller. Thank you so much, TC. Softballs ain't soft, says Diaxus. Are they not? They need to think about rebranding them. Maybe hardball, but I think that's already been taken, hasn't it? By Karens and difficult line managers, etc. Uh, we have one of those near my house. The country just built. Really good free fun. Very nice. Splash pads, water parks, are lifesavers for parents with young kids in the Arizona summers. Thank you, Joel. Glad to hear that. Um, pedestrian Plaza has jets. Oh, it's not the vibe for here, though. Diaxis. Yeah, it's not the vibe for here. Um, can you put down some concrete? Some Puego and some water jets in the cover. Yes, TC. Yes, we could do that. That is absolutely a possibility. The only problem with that is, though, that we'll get no people interacting with them. Because it'll all be props, which is fine, but I guess we could use one of these parks in here so we can see people playing. I think 2C's got the best idea there, you know. And we will have a little hydration break, though, while we're here. We'll look back over to the skyline. Or Main Street, actually. You can't really see the downtown because Main Street blocks it now from this angle. It is weird next to the road, but that's what hedges are for. Well, it's next to the car park, isn't it, in, in Phoenix? It's just adjacent to it. That's why I'm putting it here. Yeah, I think 2C has nailed the vibe the best there, I think. Um, if we were to surface paint this up with... Surface Painter, obviously. What else? Um, and then just create a very obvious line for this playground to sit in. It should give us a sort of vibe that we're seeing in Phoenix. But it's all concrete, there's no sand or grass where they're playing. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to go back and get that fucking gas out again, aren't I? Why did I delete it? Egg. Um, where is it? It's in the downtown. It is... Uh, I don't know why we can't find it and find it. Uh, where am I? I'm lost. I'm lost. Here we go. There we go. Right. Again, I'm just going to glance back. So we've got like, they're a really staggered pattern. So there's one, two, three, two on their own, and then it bulks up into four. Okay, so I'm going to mimic this pattern that I'm seeing in Phoenix here with the shelters and just see what it looks like in cities. So they're not directly next to each other, they're slightly further apart. Than that, yeah, they, they don't really touch. Okay, so we'll have one there, and then there's two side by side. This happens twice. Okay, and then we go back to a single one. And then it comes over here. And that's about it. That's what it looks like. Okay. I don't mind the mass shelters. Um. That size is way too big for a splash pad. And he retracted the message as I read it out. <laughs> Let me know what you're talking about, James. We can see if we can address it. Love the little chirps in the playground. Yeah, I literally never noticed them before, the little chirper things. Um, how about using the plazas and promenade sculpture, that sea-looking thing, and placing the jet inside of that, along with some playground equipment? That's kind of how the splash pad looks around my area. Oh, and then Esu Miwa with a five US dollar super sticker, and it is the lemon and the pear waving a hello. Well, welcome to you, Esu. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Um, I like Jason's idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, so plazas and promenades, the sea-looking thing. I'm assuming you're talking about this, Jason, right? Yeah, I'm happy to have some like modern. Oh, we didn't do the sculptures over in the park, did we? You idiot. Um, let me do these whilst I've remembered them, Jason. But yes, we will come and do that. Um, yeah, there's like two little modern art statues on the lake, isn't there, in Phoenix? I think we'll go with those. They're pretty happy. Um, yeah, so let's return to the wonderful world of Jason's brain and then see if we can integrate this 
organically. Um, let's come into jets again. Is it going to peek through the... Um... Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's okay. Um, can you put down some concrete? Oh, I've already read that one. My apologies. Uh, place the jet inside of it. Okay. Something like that. Is that what you had in mind, Jason? I do like that. That's very cool. Yeah, like there's a sort of water filtration system in here, so it just keeps fountaining up. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and actually flush it out with some playground equipment, because I think that's really going to help us to sort of appreciate things. Um, let's just use find its prop park filter to get what we want. Um, I don't want custom stuff on here. We'll just use the vanilla stuff as well. Oh, hey, Alina and Mehmet Ali Bariskin with a 100 Turkish Lira super sticker. And it is the uh, Lemon Laughing. Thank you so much, Mehmet. Really appreciate your support, buddy. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I uh, hope you're well. Um, so is there any kind of like rhyme or reason to how these things are laid out? Or is it just sort of, you know, the kids... I mean, I guess the kids can't drag the slide around the, the two too weak and small for that, but we can sort of just place things around. Um, why can't I find even stuff like the balloons over here would be nice. Um, maybe a couple of these over here as well, these little horses. Can we rotate these with a prop line tool? Degrees, there we go. And bring the distance down a little bit. Cool. Some cars as well, I think would be welcome. Yeah, get more. Bring them down a little bit. Let's have them facing in here. Uh, there's swings as well. Yeah, swing sets. So we've got two swing sets. Which one's more appropriate? This one, the bright and colourful one, is um a little bit more appropriate, isn't it? I think. Let's go ahead and get two swing sets in here, yeah, and then we'll do another one of Jason's little fountains. Just copy and paste it over. Maybe have it over here on the corner of the concrete. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. I feel like I'm missing props though. Um, child themed props, seesaws. Got some of these in. Um, hi Egg. Any plans to do any to post any Father's Frontier videos? Um, yes, we will continue to cover Father's Frontier. Um, as it's updated, uh, with streams and videos and whatnot. But because it's just come out as early access. Once you've maybe put 20 or 30 hours into the game, it becomes very repetitive. Um, so once they add new stuff in, absolutely, we will return to Father's Frontier. But for right now, I've kind of, I've, I've played it enough to just sort of, you know, just do everything over again. <laughs> like it does, it needs more stuff to it. But yes, absolutely. Um, at Kandrika, we will do more Father's Frontier on the channel just once it gets updated. Um, okay, so. I think we're hitting pretty much most park assets here now. I mean, I guess, should we do more song covers? I feel like maybe two more. Let me grab these, and then, no, no. I don't want this statue with that one. Let's have them here. Okay, and then just a little collection of seesaws, perhaps for the, the bambinos in the family. Maybe they're not like proper kids yet, they can't quite manage the larger slides. Uh, that's exactly how they look. Thank you, Jason. Glad it's hitting the vibe. And um, those cars kind of look like golf carts. Yeah, they do a little bit, don't they? They do. Uh, the weather is causing issue with Tim's knees. Is it Tim? So sorry to hear that, mate. Make sure you get plenty of rest, dude. Um, I think so. Usually a bamboo bench and one of those MCM props that comes on the workshop to help gather people. 
Uh, more jets randomly throughout the park and a hangout area like we talked about above. Um, can you put down a sim gather things so that you can with animal spawn things? Um, yeah, what's it called? Is it a hangout area? Um, does anyone know what the filter was called and find it to find the hangout markers? Found them, don't worry about it. Oh, it's hang around, not hang out. Uh, placing invisible hangar markers indicate where people visiting the lot will gather. Okay. Is it is it this one? Is this the right one I'm placing? But yes, I'm happy to do that. If it will cause some sims to gather here. Uh, some benches as well. Uh, Jason did say bamboo, but I don't think we have bamboo. We could use the little park life nature reserve ones. Is this a little bit more on theme? I don't think it is, is it? I think if you're actual, you want some back support, don't you? You want one bar support if you're sat here watching the kids. Um, I think I might just go for a liberal arts bench. It's an old firm favourite, isn't it? It never does us any wrong. Uh, let's just go ahead and sort of mark off that area there. Uh, we will grab those props with move it and then bring them over to another side of the park as well. Uh, let's go through here. There's a nice little space there, isn't there, perhaps? Cool. Uh, and then 2C said um, more water jets just randomly around the park. Happy to do that as well. Maybe sort of one like in the fountain here, so as they're climbing all over it, they get wet. That would be a massive like recipe for slipping over, but we'll go for it. Um, and then maybe up here as well. Maybe as they cross the rainbow bridge, they get piss wet through. Right. And then maybe just like a little pattern of them here where kids can like just like run through them and just have a little laugh, I guess. Right. This build's gonna look so weird <laughs> for people that are just joining the stream. Such as Richard. Welcome to the stream, Rich. How you doing, mate? You alright? Uh, bamboo clusters in planters, maybe? Um... Yeah, that's a good shout out, actually. I think a little bit of... Actually, there is these, isn't there? Oh, hello. Hello, very cute little planters from the workshop. That I didn't know I had. Oh, there's also this stuff as well. Ooh. Okay, let's add some of these in. Okay. You should put some grating underneath the water spouts. I don't have an asset that would resemble. Actually, Jane, do you know what you have just reminded me of? Is one of the tiles actually might function as sort of like a drain, you know? Um, yeah, we can absolutely add some tiles here. You could even do some of the horrific plazas and promenades tiles if we want. Although I think yard tiles maybe has a Sort of drainage vibe. What's the other one? Is it high tile that I'm thinking of? Um, it should be a decal, yeah. Or oh, that's it. I think high tile is more appropriate, Jane. What do you think about that? I think I'm on board with that one. I think Jane has struck a chord, everyone. So should we have a high tile underneath every water jet? So it's like it's drainage, like it drains back down through the concrete and then comes back up through the spout again? Or is this going to look too sporadic and weird? Okay, ours look like the blue and orange decal. Uh, these kind of water parks are pretty popular in the States, are they? I don't think we have... I mean, I guess it's, it's all climate-based, isn't it? Um, oh, there's benches in the road. Those are alright. Gonna go away. Hmm...
there's something about the concrete that's just throw it's too clean. The concrete needs to be dirtier and cracked. I think. Um it needs to have like scuff marks on it. There's something about clean concrete in cities that doesn't sit right with me. Just, uh, you know, maybe where like kids have come through on their bike or, you know, fall on over, etc. Just general wear and tear on the concrete throughout the year. Kids run on them. Okay, switch it up. Maybe bring this around. Okay. Uh, and then we do actually want the part life park here so we can see people interacting with the um, park assets themselves. Actual children here. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, we will probably turn you around. And then run that hedge flush with the concrete, and then we'll grab a gate. Um, let's grab the invisible gate, I think. Because I don't really want the big aesthetic of it here. Uh, and then we'll use Zoopath again. Let's come out of our info view. Uh, and then to get a little meander as we come up through here. We will need to make sure that we hit park asset, of course. There we go. And then this can just meander around the lake now, like the other one did. And probably until it meets up, actually. About there. That should be alright. Let's move just some of the overgrowth out of the way. Uh, can I have you connect there as well? Yes, I can. Tremendous. Alright. Cool. I'm still pulling my face at it. I'm not, it's not there yet. Yeah, there are a couple of big ones in town. Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to the stream, mate. I didn't see you join. Hello. Uh, I laughed so hard with the short when someone asked you for a review of what you'd done that day during a Palavin stream. So funny. Oh, yes, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, that one was dragged up from the, the archives of the Overcharged Egg sort of tip moments, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Alina. <laughs> Um, those jets are looking so weird. Uh, we should have some type of water collector or drainage at least. Uh, the jet near the lake looks the most awkward. Hopefully the tiles have helped them settle in a little bit more, Salesh. Uh, we'll see. Um, a restroom might be needed, otherwise those drainage tiles aren't just draining the water jets. Boris has got a point, actually. Yeah, a thunderbox is probably appropriate here as well, isn't it? Um, let's go for the zoo toilet. We always use the park life one, um, or the city park one, rather. Got some zoo toilets in here. Um, can I bob the zoo sign off? The zoo sign is really inappropriate. Zoo sign. Oh my god, I can as well. Yes, please. Fantastic. Wonderful. Zoo sign is no more. Uh, let's have two of these next to each other. Okay. Cool. Food truck. Good shout, Simon. Yes. Yes food truck is good and um, we did mention a little picnic area right with the food truck and stuff i feel like i don't want to include that near the baseball fields because you could be you know twatted by a baseball couldn't you so i think we might put it here yeah like a little food truck cut okay um so again we could use a plaza's plaza to actually have people come and then sort of use the food truck plaza as where you would go to get food and then you can sit within the tiles in the main space and if you want or you can head out onto the grass take a seat take a bench and eat out there if you like but i think just having the aesthetic of a actual functioning food truck plaza um, is going to help the park a long way i think Thunderbox in the Thunderdome at Thunder Park on, <laughs> on Thunderbird Road. <laughs> that's a lot of my god, that's a proper like snorty laugh. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, that was, um. Yes, that's a lot of thunder, M um, Dog. Yes, we can do that. Um, okay, so let's grab some benches. Um, so, Quasit Picnic Bench would be 
this one, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like classic picnic bench number three. Okay, and then we do get a little sort of rough marker underneath the sand where the prop sits. Um, absolutely no rhyme or reason to the layout of these. You would imagine if people have come and sat on them over um, a number of days and weeks and stuff, they would have been moved about, shifted, maybe some sort of antisocial youths are over here at the night rearranging the picnic tables. Kind of get a general impression of it. Okay. And that's got to be a sandwich place in Thunderous Park. Um, what DM? Have I missed something? Thunderbox in Thunderdome at Thunder Park on Thunderbird Road. What sandwich place DM? Let me know mate and we can do a little sandwich place of course. Um, yes, there's a lot of shout for cafes and stuff. Um, I think Catfish Cafe uh, would do us a really good job here. We'll, we'll come to that in a second. We'll sort of have a little food eatery here. Um, let's go ahead and check low density res. The Catfish Cafe might be a little bit too deep for this actually. Um, oh, there's the ice cream parlor as well. This would work nice here. Yeah. Maybe like here as part of like the kids sort of play area. Or maybe we can turn it around. And then like make this back end flush with the road. And we'll need to do a spawn point here. So the building can receive its service deliveries. And um, just roll its Y X, X axis over to the road. Um, and then maybe like a little eatery, sort of eating area outside of the ice cream parlor. But not like full concrete there, maybe like just up to like there, should be okay. Um, it's those same benches again actually, isn't it? Um, just push that up and out there. Cool. Yeah, so we can definitely get any other ideas as well for um, sort of like assets, like commercial assets that would sit nicer here. Like, get them in the comments below. Or the live chat as well. Or the comments, this isn't an episode. <laughs> so I'm not so distracted. I think I do want these to be a little bit more rigid in the way they're laid out. I think that that would be, um, you know, the ice cream parlor would maintain the orientation of their chairs, if you like. Can we rotate you again? Yes, that's what I want. Yeah, so let's have a few rows of these. Let's go ahead and duplicate that pattern up with the prop line there. Move it. Prop line to There we go. And then I think some kind of tasteful hedge. I'm thinking that part life hedge number one will probably do as a job with a little bit of anarchy and a linear fence fill. I hope we just box that off and then probably use it as an excuse to have a little pathway through here as well that connects. Definitely get some bins as well. So these should be alright. And then I'm going to have to nip for a tiny wee. Sorry, a toilet break. That's way too much information. I didn't need to say that. My apologies everyone. A little eating area. Something like that. Okay. Um, only reference to your bot. That's a nice sandwich place. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, that's, yes, I get it. Yeah, yes, I get it. We, we we can call a shop though. Thunderous sandwiches. Oh, ooh, that's a nice sandwich. Yeah, you can do that. Thunderous gentleman was built to deliver sandwiches, and um, he was Freden. Yeah, he was. Anyway, um, I need to just nip to the bathroom, everyone. Um, I'll leave you with a twilight view of our new park if there is one. I imagine it's going to be quite dark, but you can have it anyway. Um, right, there you go. There's the new Twilight part. Yep, yeah, give me like a second, guys. Won't be a minute. I'll be right back.
And hello people. Hello. hello. What have a mess? Let's have a hydration break on the posture checkers here while we're chilling out, everyone. Yeah, it's not looking too bad at night time, is it? It's a really cool space. It sits nicely opposite Lake Havasu over there as well. It's great with that mountain in the backdrop too. Such wonderful map work from Exy and Karina. Such a good map, this one. I'm so glad I can make a live stream. I miss this so much. We miss you so much, TC. Welcome back to the streams, mate. It's nice to have you here. Uh, my long brollies would fit so well there, says Diaxis. Uh, hey, you're a challenge day. Could you zoom out on the map, please? Wanted to see the latest expanse of Ilos and which part we're in right now. Kind of lost. No worries, mate. So as we zoom out of today's park, uh, we are east of Lake Havasu area. Further out, and then you're in the south west of the Margrid frames here. This is where we're working today. Look how big Ilos is at night. <laughs> big city. Big city. Anyway. Ooh. Do we want after dark lights around the edge of the lake, everyone? It's quite flash. It does turn the lake a little bit more flamboyant. Kind of like, look at me. I'm a landscaped lake, but it has its place, I think. Yeah, there's a lot of tea. Nothing about the emoji. Did I wash your hands? I did, Philip. Yes. Actually, no. I just, I just pissed all over them and then came straight back to my keyboard. Yes. Biscuit, slice of lemon, splash of milk. Is Jane still talking about tea? I think so. Um, okay, so I think I want some little like hedgy patterns here. Um, again, I'm going to continue to use uh, part life hedge number one. Just as a little sort of barrier. Let's do that again. I want there to be a palm on the corner. And then bring it up here. Let's go ahead and get the palm. Just for some reason, you know, when you just see like a street corner in cities and you like, I know exactly what I want that to look like. This is me with the palm. I'll say, should we go for a California Tolium wavy one? Yeah, let's go for the single lone one. That's going to be okay. Uh, we will also extend our pathway here as kind of a excuse to... Bring it through here. Now a little bit of move it and node controller should be welcome on a path connection like this. Let's go ahead and squeeze all this off. There we go. Go. Is that a little bit tight actually? It's a walking pathway, it doesn't really matter. Um what else would you get in a in the picnic area? I don't ever go for picnics if you couldn't tell. Um bins, obviously, a bin. Couple in each corner. Uh, one in the middle as well. Actually, no, let's not have one in the middle. Uh, I definitely want some gazebos here, actually. Um, you keep your connection. You should do. Yeah, you will keep your connection there. Okay, that's fine then. Got a gazebo there. Uh, yes, the sprawl lights around the lake. Yes, please. Uh, Jane's having a nice time. Um, in the lake, some water jets with lights under them, maybe like five of them, but not lights all around the edge. Is to seize thoughts. Underwater lights to draw thunderbolt eyes in the lake. Okay. So, we will explore the idea of lake lights together. So the the vibe that we end up having with a totally illuminated lake will be that of Lawrence Park um, over here. This is sort of what you get when you light it all up. Again, I think this is a little bit more appropriate for downtown. It's very landscaped. Sort of vibe. Right? But I think I'm on board with um, what 2C said. Haven't we done that somewhere before, 2C? Isn't there like those water jets with the little lights coming out? Yeah, it's over here, isn't it? We did it here. Or you can go with something like that. I think is more as to what 2C is sort of after, I think, isn't it? But I think I'm on board with this pattern here. I think I'm happy with that. Um, we might as well. Actually, should we copy and paste it? Or should we do a different colour? I think we'll do a different colour. Yeah, okay. Cool. So, let's come back over to... <laughs> it's a wide boy lake. Forgot that I called it that for a second. Um, okay, so let's grab some of the dark lights. 
feel free to throw suggestions for colours in the live chat as well. I think a red might be a little bit Doctor Evil. Um, can we do a, a white light? Blue. Turquoise. Turquoise is quite nice, isn't it? Okay, so let's draw this out with prop line tool. That with no fence full on, thank you very much. And we will come to a fairly substantial sizing here. So let's go. How about we do that? Like a little strip of them. And then one across there and delete that one. So we must have like a little pattern in the lake. And then we'll grab those jets. Um, how many do we have here? So we've got... Yeah, we could almost do this as like a descending pattern. So we could have 20 meter jets here. Okay, and then we'll do two 14 meters either side. Of course, the orientation you look at this from will change. Another 14 meter to the next one, and then 4 to 7 meters as we come to the shallowest part of the lake. It should give us a little sort of ascent in the height of the fountain, which, once it's in and flowing, might look a little bit organic, we hope. And tiny baby jet there. Um, and then this is going to be odd, so we're going to remove that right there. And then these will become 14 meter placements on the sides. Are we happy with that, 2C? I'm happy to let 2C have say over this lake. He deserves it for all the help he's given for Ilos. Uh, some big sh trees for shade. Good shout, 2C. Yes. Uh, I think your baseball fields might be configured backwards. Um, they're configured so they hit a road connection. Whether or not they're backwards from real life or not, I'm not entirely sure. Could be. I'm not a baseball person. Um, is that a dam I see in the mountain from the park? Um, yes, Ilos has a dam. Yeah, it comes with a map, Salah. I didn't build that. Nice trip to Lawrence Park. Would you enjoy it, Lauren? Uh, sometimes there's a water jet in the middle of these lakes to um, aerate them. And now you can make Wildbot's face. Do you want to make Wildbot's face? <laughs> I do like the design we've got here. Try and avoid Wildbot's face if we can. Uh, in the USA, there are at least one or two jets in a week. Not a long pattern like that. Is it not on theme, this one, do we not think? I think it's nice here as you're walking by it. Some little spots out in the lake. You can see up to the Ilos viewing sign up there as well. Uh, yes, just move the one light on the left over a little bit. Yeah, I can see what you're referring to, to see. It does just want moving over a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, that's about okay. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. I think we're going to um, come back to daytime so we can carry on building the park. Okay, nice though. We're starting to get some people arrive for playtime though, which is great. There we go. Hello. Welcome park goers, where are you going? You're going to the climbing frame. Can we get a little first person walking tour through the park? I think. There we go, she's got a little sun hat on. I don't know what's happening with her arm. Yeah, she can see up to the dam there as well in the mountains. Also open green space, very cool. The tram's moving on the road as well. It's always appreciated, isn't it? There we go. Everyone's going to the playground. Tremendous. Yeah, and we can see kids playing now. Even though they're not in the actual park itself that I made, but they're, they're there nonetheless. Cool. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, so big shady trees, like 2C said. I'm definitely on board with that. Um, let's go for... 
a variety of different numbers here. Um, let's have a larger dry one there. Some gums will be appropriate here as well. Um, big one there. Live oak tree will certainly be welcome in the area. Um, let's have a little pathway that meanders over toward that pavilion. It's a lot of nodes, I know, but it's a lot less nodes than was here before with the um, the road network frames. Okay, a couple more of these split trunks. Iron bark might be welcome. Quite Australian, but maybe it's been imported. And we've got some of these bigger trees over here too. And should be enough. I don't want to turn it into like a forest or anything, but in general, uh, sort of bigger trees. Oh, I love this little space now. This little like path side on the lake is just very cute. A little statue in there too. Rocks and trees. Very tasteful. Okay. Um, do we have a plan to build a hydroelectric complex by that dam in the future builds for Ilos? Um, it's not on the list, Salish, no. Ilos' power infrastructure is kind of done now. Um, we did the solar power plant, which will probably remain the only power plant in the build. Um, if we've got like a load of nodes left over come the end, and we want to do another power plant, then yeah, we can do some hydroelectric stuff, but it's not the priority. No. At right, road networks. Um, you would actually tie quite handsomely into that corner, I imagine, right? Yeah, you would. Okay, and then let's node control you out so everyone's happy in the square. Uh, square them all off, and then I just want to shift red ever so slightly. There we go, that feeds into that intersection a bit nicer. I so like to bring the... Can we close the offset here? Or does it go a bit dodgy? It goes a bit sketch, doesn't it? It doesn't like being closed here. That's okay, though. It was working as it was earlier. We'll leave it like that. Cool. Um, Alright, so big, tall chain fencing all the way around the edge of the softball fields is something we saw. So we've done this before with the other baseball park. We ended up using the prison fence, didn't we? Because it's kind of the most appropriate. In terms of like, you know, to stop a softball flying over it. It does have barbed wire though. And it's a prison fence short as well. I can't, I can't get away with the barbed wire, can I? It's too much of a vibe. I mean, we did it earlier. Is anyone going to complain? If anyone's not on board with it, feel free to leave a dislike. But I think we are going to go with the um, prison fence in here. It's, it's perfect until I can get a better tall chain style fence in. Nothing beats it. Okay. And then I think what we will do through the middle here is rather than use the part life path as pathway, is we'll use the variant from part life path as roads to have it as an actual road because that way we're going to get the connection back onto the street, which I think will be appreciated. It's because we get this little angle here that where people just walk onto it. I guess it kind of, it also invites cars down there, doesn't it? And we really don't want that. Yeah, I think we will just do it with the pathway. Ignore that process. That was a waste of 20 seconds of the stream. To 121 of you, welcome into the Saturday stream, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for supporting the channel by watching. Do appreciate you all. Um, alright. Let's have this go up. And we can do something cute with that... Uh, flag planter in a second. So if we go into node controller, we're going to widen this out and square it all off first. So we're going to widen it out. 13 meters is always nice and happy for me for general sort of node controller work. And um, let's then have the flagpole in the middle of the pathway. I'm going to come into after dark lights again, and then get those little turquoise floor ones if we can find them. Um, let me 
turn to daytime very briefly. Uh, which one is it? Not that one. Oh, do they not have the little floor variant of the turquoise one? What are they called? They're called floor lights, right? Yes, they are. Ah, there's white. That'll do. Okay. And then just at the bottom of the flagpole, I just want a few of these little floor lights. That sort of light it up, obviously. Something like that. Something you're only going to see at night time, but for everyone in the stream today, they're going to know. Let's sort of centralise that flagpole or the flag in the middle of the thing. And that should just illuminate the path for us as we pass by the flagpole here. Oh, that's it. On second thoughts, we can now have one of the lights that points straight up to illuminate the flag itself. Um, one of these ones. Does that look crap? Is that alright? It goes nowhere near the flag, but you can still appreciate the god rays. I think. Maybe. Uh, there are water jets like that in some places in Denmark. Glad to hear Thomas. Glad to hear it's somewhat realistic. Maybe she's doing that Instagram thing and pulling the POV person along. Are you talking about the... Oh yes, I know what you're talking about EMB. The woman that was walking to the park? Yes. <laughs> I think so. Uh, did I miss a super chat, did I? Um, did I miss a super chat? Scroll up. No, I don't, I don't think I did. No, we're good. Let me change this to live chat, actually. Um, no, I didn't miss super chat. Yeah, we're all right. Um, but speaking of super chats, Aaron Nitzel with a 9.99 US dollar super chat. Got a new kitten recently. He loves curling up in my lap and watching your live streams on the iPad. A big fan of all the <laughs> of all the walking sims. That's so cute. You wanted me to send you the super chat. Cheers, Eric. <laughs> that is cute as hell, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate the support. Um, there's a short on the channel, actually, that your cat would probably love. Um, of all the walking porn in New York. <laughs> and in Ilos as well, actually. There's one for Ilos. Yes. Well, thank you for the support, mate. I really appreciate it. That's very generous. Thank you so much. And uh, a little... Uh, head scratch to you and your cat. Well, not you, sorry. I'm not scratching you on the head, Aaron. I, I mean the cat, obviously. Yes, please scratch the cat on the head on my behalf, not yourself, right? I think I managed to dig myself out of that hole. <laughs> pretty, pretty successfully. There will be multiple Karens complaining about the barbed wire. Let them complain, Boris. That's what I say. Oh no, that bleach is on the road. Oh, I'm just going to have to pull it out ever so slightly. Oh, it's the node as well. There we go. That's fine. Um, right. Then let's have this one. Business cat has entered the, <laughs> has entered the chat. Reminds me of um, lolcats, Jason, for any kind of noughties or any 90s babies that were uh, around during the first kind of wave of memes, if anyone remembers lolcats. It's a different time, wasn't it, lolcats? Different sense of humour. Yeah, Kitten knows best. Kitten does know best. Kitten's a fan of Ilos. Kitten has good taste. Okay, I'm just going to bring that fence through the bleacher, but I'll move the road out a little bit. There we go. No, it's not the road that needs to move there, is it? It's the um, it's the bleacher itself. There we go. Alright. Okay. It's a vibe, isn't it? I do need to go ahead to the workshop and get a taller chain link fence. It doesn't have barbed wire on it, because if we want to do these sorts of things, then we're kind of stuck to prison fencing. Um, let's just back a little bit and have it so it goes to the pathway. 
Let's go. And then we'll have it bend out. We'll come back and do some grasses around the entrance to this little park as well. That should help us out a little bit today, I think. Down here. Straight the way through. It's not there. And then just come back out to this space and then we'll save this green area for something else other than baseball field. Something like that. That should do it, I think. I lost his bleeding money right now. Um, it always does, Salesh. It always does, mate. It always bleeds money. But then it'll make money again and balances it out, balances it all out. So we're about to minus 97,000 now. You just gotta bear in mind, with like with my playstyle, with so slow and propped and detailed, a city of this size with so much expenditure, you think how many like public transport stops are through here? Um just you know how much stuff is has to be paid for, all the medical assets that we've dropped. Like this is an expensive city to run. So just by nature of that, as the demand of the industry ebbs and flows, as public transport gets less busier, then the economy will fall down. Um, actually, if you if you turn out on at night time, I'll show you this actually. This is actually pretty hilarious. So because of the divide in the budget sliders, right? I don't really pay attention to the nighttime ones ever. You can see I only really move the daytime slider. If you put ILOS at night time, because of the slider options, ILOS's economy absolutely collapses at night, which is absolutely traumatizing to think of in the real world, right? Could you imagine if your city's economy just collapsed every time it went to night time? So yeah, Ilos at night time will not survive. It has to make money in the day. But don't worry about it, Salash, mate. We've got 17 million in the bank. It sort of, you know, ebbs and flows. Always has done. Same with Palavan. The same with Navaria. It's just a symptom of our play style, I think. Because we play so much stuff, it's just there's so much expenditure compared to like, you know, like a, a regular mass zone city with that much public transport in it. Cool. Yeah, so just some really tasteful grasses. Um, around the entrance to here, I think. I also think Coco is just like farted as well. I can smell something pretty rank, and she just woke up from a nap, which is great. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Yes, that's what I want. Just little grasses around here. Something relatively tasteful. Uh, yep, just poking through bushes in there as well. Okay. Yep, happy with that. Uh, oh, DJ, uh, with a tenuous dollar super chat, well designed park and cute cat discussions. <laughs> Two of my favourite things. Thank you so much, DJ. That's really generous of you to uh, donate, lovely. Thank you for uh, for the support. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm glad you're enjoying the um cat discussions. Sarah, it's not a usual theme we have on the channel. We don't have too much cat talk, just due to me mainly being a dog person. But yeah, especially when the cats are watching the videos. Right, that that helps. <laughs> In that case, we need industries to make money for us. Um, it's way past the point of saving now, Salesh, with the size of the city. Essentially, the rest of Ilos would have to be an, an, an industry build um, in order to balance it back out. It's okay, though. Like, Don't worry. Like, It makes money. It'll be okay. Uh, let's spin this around. That's where we lost it. There's little bushes in there too. Like that. Cool, that's the only entrance in there, isn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, that's a really cool use of the space though. That's given us some really kind of nice shapes within the Margaret frames themselves. Which I think. Cool. You also have to bear in mind as well, Salash, that I play on um 65% game speed. So my sort of general city processing is like half as slow as what most normal people's would be. So the game just takes a while to read that too. 
Um, all right, cool. So we've got one more little thing here. Um, and again, I wanted to just briefly return to Google Earth. Um, just as we kind of run out of the park. I don't want to add this massive industrial block into it. Um, because it's just, oh yeah, it's a bit, bit blunt for what I'm after. So I think we're going to go for a field here instead. Um, and then there's a couple of little uh, orientations that we can take here, of course. So it's actually a petrol station on the corner. That actually looks a lot like the Costa one that we have on the from the workshop. So we could add that in. Um, but then we've also—I don't think we're gonna do the bowling lanes. Oh, there's a church over here as well. We'll do a church. Um, anyway, but yes, fields are the main priority. So fields with a gas station in the corner is sort of what will help round out this little area with. So in order to please Salash, uh, we might as well go for uh, a new farm area. I don't think there's a point in bringing a new one over. Or the old one. Oh, so you know there is a point, isn't there? Because it's only... Oh, it's quite far away, though. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to start a new one. We'll just do a new one. It's okay. Um, Can I integrate the farm main building into the park? No. <laughs> no, we can't. That was very quickly discovered. Let me correct this area. There we go. Um, why don't we just have it on the corner of the street then, maybe? Anchor Agriculture. Alright, let's bring it over to the corner. Uh, let's go ahead and paint out that industrial area. Just to occupy this space. We're not going to have no process in here. It is literally just for fields. Yep, yeah, just push that back. That's alright. No problem. If anybody wants to name the farm here, feel free to get it in the live chat. As always, most hilarious will win. Okay. Good day, I got you well. Hey, Panther. Welcome to the stream, mate. How you doing? How are you, mate? Uh, Jared called out the budget a month ago. That time, 1.5 million is weird. Yeah, it does go in the green eventually. It does go in the green. I mean, we're on episode, like, what? 45 now? And stream... Um... 31. The city's still alive. We're alright. Um, it does seem a little bit lower than normal, actually, to be fair. What, what's causing it? I'll have a look at it later. Let me focus on this first. Uh, right. So these, some of them are dummies, and some of them are... We actually need to put fertile land down, first of all. Let's not forget to do that. Um, it does mess with our service place a little bit. Also, you know what? We probably, probably should have used fertile land for the grass around the lake. It's a lot patchier. It looks a little bit more authentic to Phoenix, I think. A, bit, a little bit drier is the vibe. Uh, hello, everyone. It's it today. So, to hear that red front. Welcome to the stream, anybody. Hope you're getting plenty of rest. Um, I'd like something green. This will work. Let's bring it over into the corner. Um, and then can we change its... Oh, no, don't do that. Um, it's like its decal. Now we can get white, uh, ripe wheat. Wheat cut. Or wheat young. The wheat young is certainly the vibes we're seeing in Phoenix with the green fields, but there is something just quite appealing about a field of wheat. All right? Didn't didn't Theresa May say something like that? Actually, I didn't mean that to be like a Theresa May quote, but I'm pretty sure she did. Um. Again, these are just a field collection of the workshop. If you guys want to come play with these assets, there. Significantly better than the vanilla alternatives. Much larger. Much more authentic to an actual farm. Um. Okay, I think we'll just copy and paste this one. Of course, we can fuse fields together. It's not like it's a huge issue. So something like that. Not right up against the road. Just over towards the edge, that's going to be okay. Um, and 
These are the field networks, aren't they? Are these going to work here? Probably not. Uh, they might do, actually. If we can arrange them right, they might do. Um, that one's not what I want. Field network zero. That's not really what I'm after, either. No, we're just going to go for another field. Um, if we can... Split this right, you're not going to orientate over here. I'm happy to have that little hole in the middle. Maybe we can do some little scrapyard there or something for a tractor. That is going to need its connection for deliveries, so it has to be on the road. Um, then, do you know what I want? One of those little windmill things that you see in the middle of fields in America. I've no idea what they're called. I don't have a windmill though, do I? No. Do you know, do you know what I'm thinking of? There's like, actually Salas just said there's an interactive farm windmill asset that can sit on the farm. Would look pretty cool. Yeah. I don't have a windmill asset though. Put a wind turbine in. That might be a little bit obnoxious, but it might work. Fill it with trees and hedges and stuff. Not a wind turbine. I feel like you do get turbines in the middle of fields. Quite UK that little thing. I don't know if you'd really get that in America. Um, trees is the overwhelming favourite, I think. Yeah, like a patch like live oaks. I think live oaks is the way to go, isn't it? I think that wind turbine's a hard sell. I don't think we'll attempt that one. Um... Yes, let's get some trees in. We'll go for Karina. Everyone trusts Karina, right? Um, got some live oak stuff in. Just big, thick trees. Don't really want to see the grass beneath them. Just the leaves of the trees is the vibe we want. Iron bark in there too. Keep changing it up. Bit of overgrowth through the middle there as well. Uh, yes, there we go. Maybe a thicker one on this side too. Is that alright? Are we happy with that? Kind of the distance goes a bit dodgy, but I think I'm generally on board with that space. I can do the same thing over here again as well. Um, and then we'll do the petrol station in the corner here. Cool. Let's go ahead and surface paint up the edge of the field here with a little bit more gravel. We got some field fencing in around this as well. Um, or field boundary of some description. Let's bring that tree's bush size down. That squealy gum might be a little bit out of character, actually. That is quite a distinctive, differently looking tree. You can definitely tell that's like Australian. Um. Yeah, lots of big boys here. Lots of overgrowth in between them too. Cool. Actually, it really helps to break up the field pattern when you put little holes of trees in like that. Good shout, Karina. Good shout. Okay. Um, and then we also want the um, Costco thing in here, don't we? Um... I've got the Costco gas station, which is pretty much... Has it got a Costco logo on it? Oh, it does. There's no Costco here, though. It's this kind of gas station, though. That's the one that I really want. Yeah, I'm going to use that, then. Um, so I want it sort of level with the field. Um, again, there's trees backing onto it. So we'll have it there. So of course that's going to lose its connection. So we'll give it... There's no car park here, is there? No, there isn't. Let's do... Um, some parking lot service road. On an angle on a road length, ideally. Um, in Wisconsin, you see wind turbines in the middle of farm fields all the time. Okay, so it is something you'd get in America then, Ray. Okay, that soothes my anxiety about... And potential wind turbine hate coming into the stream VOD. 
after on. Hopefully that will, or later on rather, not after on. Yeah, so we've got concrete right up to the edge of the field. Um, do we want to fill the whole space? I think I might do some more trees around the edge of it. Let's maybe go up to like there. Okay, then tidy up any tears that appear. Not this side though, please. There we go. Tremendous. Um, and then we just got a really thick tree line behind it. That's what we'll go for. Um, happy to name the farm after you, Karina. I didn't see any um farm names actually, did I? Did you know, no one leave any? Saps lupulative soybeans. I don't know if that's Sap Pizza's suggestion. Uh, it looks like Illinois fields. Um, Illy Ilos, yes. <laughs> yeah, you could say Illy Ilos. Yeah, yeah. If, um, if anyone wants to suggest name suggestions for the farm relating to in and around the the governor, then. Please do get them down below. So yeah, I've just got a real thick tree line around the edge of the um, petrol station here, back onto the farm. Cool. So, and again, I think a little bit of perhaps tuftier bits of overgrowth around the bottom of those trees is going to be quite welcome. If not actually just removing a little bit of the surface painter so the trees don't sit on the concrete, otherwise that looks really weird. Hey Max, welcome into the stream mate, has been a while, hope you're doing well. Welcome back with it. Hope all is well in Malaysia, that's where you're from right Max? Or Indonesia, one of those two I think, I apologize if it's wrong. Alright, so I think we'll actually just fully tree this little corner up on the left up here. Um, let's grab like all of that. And just have this like here, basically. Okay. Is there a vegetable that um rhymes with Karina? We can maybe put it. So it's like almost like Karina Marina, you know, so sort of something along those sorts of vibes. Throwback all the way to Navaria. Um. I think we're we'll using chain link fencing here. Been two hours into a live stream and I haven't done a single bit of chain link fencing. What's going on? Right, let's have this chain link come down here. So I'm just going to treat this as a little bit like overgrown ILOS space. Uh, a vibe that we've done many times before uh, from Phoenix. Just empty, useless desert land that isn't really being used. And this is a nice little space for it to come in. It will leave a little hole in the chain link fencing because of course we know we see random stretches of chain link fencing just strewn across Arizona. Cool. Then let's have it in there as well. Uh, let's just sweep through the little bit of I lost dry belt. If they're not a few of the bushes in there. Okay. That'll do is especially considering we're like right on the edge of the mar grid here. This is like a really sort of like cool transition back out into what is essentially countryside as we approach Havasu and the mountains and the rural parts of the city, like Williams over in over there. Okay. I like that. That's really basic. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty cool. People getting fuel here as well now. Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, Karina's green thumbs as Karina. Um, Karina's on board with several suggestions. She's, she likes Freydens, which is the governor's great grain. Should we do a poll? Um, those trees are too big. The tanks under the station would have issues with roots. Um... Okay, it's taken from Phoenix though, like there's, I mean it's this isn't it, there's trees with big trees around them, a gas station I guess, I don't know, you need to tell the Phoenix City Department, <laughs> not me, it's taken from Phoenix, but yes I guess the trees could grow into the fuel tanks I guess, I think that's an issue. Karina's Cranberry and Parsnip Emporium, Karina's Fruit Juices. Everyone's on board with, um, 
think Jane's suggestion. Doing good egg, just a bit hectic. No worries, Max. Well, nice to have you back in here, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Onyx. How you doing, buddy? But Onyx has a new song out, guys. I tweeted it yesterday. Um, Onyx has released new music. Um, amazing. Yes, it is the Onyx, the guy that has written all of your favourite soundtracks. Timeless, the creator of Timeless is here. Um, yes, Onyx, by the way, um, you have two fans in here, um, Eggsy and Karina, who just absolutely idolise Timeless. <laughs> you, need to, you need to write more Timeless tracks for them. They are, um, yeah, big fans, mate, big fans of yours. Um, okay. Okay, I think I'm generally feeling this idea here. Um, so what are we going to go for? Um, Jane's, uh, Karina's, yeah, look, Jane's suggestion for Karina's farm is Karina's Cranberry and Parsnip Emporium. Is that going to fit? Yes, it is. Wonderful. Alright, so cheers for the name, Jane. Appreciate you. Um, I love, I absolutely love that there, um, so much love for Onyx in the chat. <laughs> Such a talented composer. Very, very good. So we're going to compose another timeless. Yes, just, just change the chords ever so slightly, Onyx. <laughs> and then just re-release timeless and everyone will love it. Yeah, we all love timeless. Yeah, such a good song. Um, anyway, I need to do some fencing around the edge of the farm here. So... Could do IMT. Uh, we could do IMT here. But I think I want to do a little bit of prop fencing. Um, actually, I've just seen the fence I want. That one was perfect. Uh, this one here. A little white wooden fence. Um, can we even see this? Yeah. The field is like right on the edge of the road though. Like, there's literally zero breathing room. Can I just, like, nudge you off a little bit? That's not going to destroy anything serious, is it? No, we're okay. We're okay. We can do that now. Um, yes, and then this little um, stretch of um, white farm fencing should be quite tasteful. Um, yes, Onyx, actually, that reminds me why you're here. Um, I need to send you a message, dude, to get the Paradise file um, for the new song that you released this week. Um, I'm going to use it in the videos, dude, so I will hit you up um, on Twitter or Discord, mate, and talk to you in a bit. So we can sort out the uh, MP3 for Paradise, which is a great song, by the way. If you guys aren't aware, Onyx released some new music this week. So good. It's very nice. <laughs> it's just amazing. Okay. Oh, Member Ali Briskin has been a member for 12 months. Long time, Mehmet. Thank you for the year's support, mate. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, hey, I'm a fan of Timeless too. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Onyx. Yes, people uh, People love your music, mate. I hope, I hope that you realise that and you know that you're very much loved, especially in this community. Um, your music was essentially the soundtrack to Palavan, which means um, a lot to a lot of people. Um, I can send it to you by Discord. Yeah, sure, Onyx, that's fine, mate. Whatever's easier for you, buddy. Just uh, whatever way is easier to send it, mate. Just do that. Okay, a little bit of white picket fence on the edge of a field. That is very Nebraska, isn't it? That is very Nebraska, if I might say so myself. I love all of Onyx. I do, um, Edelweiss is currently my favourite at the moment. What was the one I was listening to? Um, it's on my... Which one is it? It's not Eden. Oh, I'm going to have to go to Onyx's SoundCloud. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the song. Um, I'll see, it'll be in my files, won't it? Hold on, let me just go get it. Yeah, the one I'm obsessed with at the minute, Karina, is... Um, where is it? Stay With Me. We can play this, actually. Yeah. Um, Stay With Me is very good. This one here. If you guys haven't listened to it, you should be able to hear it. This one. This one is great. So good. <laughs> Such a good composer, man. Yes, amazing. Cool. 
Yes, Stay With Me is my recent um, Onyx fetish at the minute. Yeah, big fan of that one. Um, okay, so I think we've got the tiniest little bit of generic industry demand. Not that I ever pay attention to any of my RCIs, but we might as well while we're here. Um, and I think a little bit of plot vanilla farming will probably expand the farmhouse quite nicely here. Um, so I think I'm going to go for... That is literally perfect, exactly what I was after. Um, and then maybe something a little smaller, a little more tasteful. Let's do this, and then we're going to force the... Um, building all the way back. Just so we can create like a little farmyard. Let's do a spawn point on that and roll its y-axis forward toward the road. So it receives its deliveries. As please. A little bit of gravel surface painter is more than likely going to help tie things together here. Yeah, we'll look to that as well. Um, possibly want to do the same thing by knocking this asset back as well, actually. I think that's probably appropriate. I need to move Unified UI. I don't know why I put it down there. It's right in the way of move it. Like, worst placement. <laughs> worst placement. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a little bit more sand here. That's it, do you want to? Yeah, because it's concrete out front. Yeah, we will. There's some brown grasses in the farmyard. Uh, and we'll do an alien coven here as well. I realise we haven't done any alien covens today. So we'll have a little farm coven. We'll use the naked aliens for it. Uh, also, we can have them right in here. Maybe they're trying to steal some farming supplies to kind of get back home. But, like, they're scared to go inside because they don't know what farming supplies are. They're like, what's that really hard brown thing over there? And they're like, Jerry's like, guys, that's just wood. But the aliens are totally confused by the presence of some cut timber. To which Jerry's trying to explain to them, like, guys, it's just wood. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt you. And they're like, but we've never seen that before. That's terrifying. <laughs> we, we can't go in there. They're like, just get the wood. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Just get the wood, aliens. Right? <laughs> Jerry's, like, getting really arsy with them. He's just, he's not in the mood today. Alright. Bring some overgrowth around the back of the farmyard here. Couple of bits around the side of it too, so generally rough it up a little bit. Especially some thicker grasses around the back. Um then what else do we want? Maybe some larger trees again, actually. I'm quite on board with two C's thought process of larger green, shadier trees for this sort of area. Is that right? Thank you, Onyx, for your amazing music. Yes, I'm glad. Um, yes, you're also kind. I love this community. Good. I'm glad that um, <laughs> there's so much love for Onyx in the chat. That's really nice. It's probably warmed my heart. I think that just expands the farm the farm main building, doesn't it? Just a little warehouse in there next to it. And I'm not going to bob those trees, though. I might want to bob those trees for some palms. I have used this asset before, though, so it will change elsewhere in the city. But I don't think I'm really bothered about that. I probably won't see those areas again until the final farewell cinematic, so that's a problem for future rag. Okay, let's get rid of the vanilla bushes as well. That looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? There we go. Right. So he's encouraging theft. It's theft with justification, DM, I think is how we should look at it. Yeah. So you know they need wood to get back home, they're trying to build some sort of device, or perhaps there's some like fertilizer in here, they're trying to make explosives. Perhaps they've taken on a more extremist approach to leaving the city. And um, yeah, just... Yes, he, he is encouraging theft, DM. <laughs> is the root of the problem, I think. Yes, he is. Tremendous, that's a really nice little expanded farm complex there, isn't it? I'm happy with that one. Cool, that's filled nearly a full mile grid. No, it's not. It's not even near a full mile grid frame, is it? It's nowhere near. It's so small. It works, though, and it does us um, a little job. I think I do want to put down a few more park assets in here, like gazebos and whatnot, um, just so we can see people enjoying the park. Um, things like the piers as well, I think, would be 
appropriate here. And thank you to the wonderful world of Move It. I can now move these down to ground level so they don't look ridiculous like they do in vanilla. Bring it like right there. And just have it so the stairs are exposed. There we go. Awesome. Um, has Jerry's horse dyed its fur? Uh, no, it's always been grey, hasn't it? Jerry is always... Oh my god, no he has. Wait, does Jerry change colour every time we put him down? He looks like he's got liver failure or something. He's gone all yellow. Oh my god, Jerry does change colour every time you put him down. I had no idea. I had no idea about that. I thought his kidneys had gone. <laughs> he's turned all yellow. Oh well. We can... Perhaps that can be Jerry's... I was going to say sort of good twin brother, but he's currently sat here encouraging theft. So probably not. Um, okay, some little areas like this that want tidying up now. Let's come in with some sort of smaller, finer bush details. But Onyx has joined the Discord. Amazing, mate. I'm sure you're going to be um, very well thought of in there, buddy. You've got um, I think, you know, it's it might sound a little maybe pretentious to say, but I think Onyx has a very unique sort of niche in this community because we all basically spent the 2020 COVID lockdowns listening to your music whilst watching Palavan. It's led to it having quite a... What, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Like a nostalgic, almost sort of throwback to the lockdowns because we all listen to Neverland. I'm not sure. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of talking up my own ass a bit, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's definitely an excuse for another path connection through here. Um, so come on to this junction. Uh, I think I want to hide that pedestrian crossing as well. Let's get rid of that on the blue node. There we go. Tremendous. Alright. I feel like I hate the picnic area. I feel like I want more things in here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what though. That's a complete this hedge pattern. Just run out to the corner. Uh, maybe they're looking for the compatriots who got lost in the other wheat field. Yeah, that's a good shout out to EMB. Yeah, EMB's got a good coven there. Yeah, he has. He has. Um, I think the grass in the park needs some bushes. Uh, yes, it does. It does, Thomas. You're absolutely right, mate. It does. Yeah, it's just very green, isn't it? It wants like some a, a, a pop of bush, doesn't it? Um, there's no other way to say that, really. Yeah, just again, we'll just sort of like grab a selection of it in in shot, and then we'll we saw this together here. We still need to name a restaurant as well. Um, after the thunder dude, thunderous gentleman. We will just very briefly throw that up on screen again, just for the hilarity of it. Just the fact that it appears midstream to you guys and the people that haven't seen the Robco video and have no idea what that means, which is, makes it even more funny, I think. Right. Okay. Yeah, gives a bit more personality to the grass, doesn't it? You got tiny little bushes like that, little mini trees in amongst the taller ones. Um, yeah, I think some more larger trees actually within the picnic area would be welcome for shade. You imagine you would absolutely roast eating your lunch out here, wouldn't you, in this field? Something like that. Yes, that actually makes it a lot better. I think a new emoji is due. Um, yes, we can get Thunderous Gentlemen in the YouTube emojis. I will do that um, after the stream. You guys will have them available for the next creative mode, which will be next week. 
Okay. Um, so we did actually see another car park um, underneath the basketball, the basketball, baseball, softball, right there on the end um, field, didn't we? So I think I'm going to bring that in and then we're going to base a um, restaurant or cafe off of that. And then we can use that to hold the Thunderous Cafe. What, what, what are we calling it? What's going to be the name? I think DM said it earlier, didn't he? Um, yeah, DM gave us a good idea, I think, for a restaurant name. Was it DM? I'm not sure. Whoever gave me a good idea for the restaurant name of Thunderous Gentleman, let me know. Uh, okay, so Catfish Cafe is almost certainly going to be included. Uh, if I can find it. It's here somewhere. There it is. There we go. Okay. Um, I've got to go, sadly. It was fun hanging out for a bit. Enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Thank you, Isabel. I appreciate your support. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching Ilos. Yeah, so we got a Catfish Cafe in here. Uh, maybe... Fry Guys for our kids to get some... Fries and shakes and whatnot after they've been forced to go to softball practice. I want the bigger one though. Um, oh, that shake, it fits perfectly on the corner there. Oh, is oh that's a nice sandwich, wasn't it? Yes, uh, Eggsy's message me just, uh, Eggsy's message just reminded me. The shake, it fits perfectly, doesn't it? I can't really refuse that. Okay, if we have this planter right up against the car park. Then can we squeeze in a cram burger next door? Yes, we can. Okay, so there's burgers and milkshakes over here as well. That's kind of on board with the general park theme, isn't it? You know, imagine the kids see the shake at the side and they're like, I want a milkshake, I want a milkshake. And eventually sort of wither their parents down to no resistance to eventually acquire milkshake. Um, all right, let's get some car parking spaces then. Come down to single spaces, this one. Cool. And then hopefully we get a three by two in here. Tremendous. And then, go. So we'll service paint up the areas that haven't played well with us. There we go. Oh, that's just, thank God for Carino and Eggs's, um sort of awareness of surface painter and how it would behave with this map. It has made my life tremendously easier. All right. Um, are we cramming in a squeeze burger? <laughs> yes, yes, we are, E&B, yeah. I'm happy to rename that one, actually. That's quite funny. We'll go for squeeze burger. And then we're going for... Um... Ooh. That's... A nice... We're saying sandwich, aren't we? It's not sandwich. There we go. Cool. Awesome. Uh, let's grab some planters for this little corner here. Uh, let's go for... Um, I'm enjoying these little bench ones at the minute. I think they're quite nice. We'll go for a few of these. Let's go for three. Um, and then we will grab a tree of our choosing, which will be a medium tree. Is there potential for California shorty here? It feels weird potting a palm in Ilos. I don't know, it feels like they should be more natural. I guess there must be some kind of potted palm somewhere in Phoenix though, right? Don't like that though. No, that's not, that's not the shout. I have to go, unfortunately, but the stream was nice. Goodbye, goodbye, Red Front. I hope you, uh, Red Front, I hope you feel um, better. Anyway, mate. I think it was you who said you were, you were poorly earlier, right? I think it was. Or oh, Junipers, yes. Yeah, I potted Juniper. Let's put 
please. Very nice. Fabulous. Uh, some bike racks for 2C. Absolutely 2C. Um, we did find the bike racks on the creative mode stream. What are they called? It's just under rack, I think, isn't it? The prop. Um, oh, there's a guitar rack from concerts as a prop. No way. That's so cool. I had no idea that existed. That's fantastic. Um, I have just realised we totally forgot to check sub buildings. Oh, there's that big commercial AC in it. I said I was going to do the AC scrapyard, wouldn't I? We can still do that. Um, what's it called? 2C. Why can't I find it? Do I have to go for bike rack? Bike stand, some variation of that. We're going out for a walk now. Uh, really thankful for your support and for your welcome as well. Thank you, Onyx. Thank you for stopping by, mate. It's really nice to see you. And yes, you are very much loved within this community, buddy. Your music means a lot to us all. Uh, thank you for writing it and loving it. Yeah, we'll chat to you in the Discord, mate. Yeah, definitely spend more time here. You're very much welcome. Um, why can't I find it? There we go, because it's called... It was Bicycle Stand. Oh, cause, oh, sorry, it was Bicycle, not Bike. Right, there we go. That's my mistake. Um, How about here? Um, 2C. No fence fill there, of course. Um, if we can line these up so they're sort of like equidistant between the planters, that would be amazing. Like that, sort of. Um, move that back in a little bit. Uh, is that level? It doesn't look like it is. Move it over a touch. Move that one over. Okay, so we're going to have some bike racks over here next to the car parks and the baseball fields. Imagine 2C rowing up here, ditching his bike and heading off to play some softball. The American dream. Um, Alright, so there's one little awkward space left within this sort of frame that we've set up today. And uh, I want to see if we can do that little AC sort of scrapyard thing that we saw in Google. So let's just briefly head back over there. Um, Here, isn't it? Yeah, this one. Uh, so it's two houses, one very small house, it looks like a garage, doesn't it? It's obviously storage. And then we've got sort of covers and general storage space with garbage and there's a container there. There's, there's lots of rubbish, but lots of AC props as well. This is clearly where they're doing sort of AC admin, if you like, as an AC company would. So really similar vibes. We can We can really do something simple like that. It's a nice little way to fill some industrial spaces. Um, so we really just want the thin road. Probably a rural road actually would be better for this. Um, the two-lane country road. That's not the ones with the markings on it though, is it? It's this one that is. Oh, uh, it's got... Oh no, I do want to use this one, don't I? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay, we're going to do this one. We'll do this one. Um, so let's have this come up through here. Maybe a little bit closer toward the junction. We'll have it like that, and then we'll use that as sort of the entrance yard. Um, and then I think generic industry is going to lend itself the most to sort of piecing this sort of thing together. Um, in terms of like little mini warehouses and stuff. It actually looks like... The front office building looks like a residential building. It looks like it's been converted from someone's house. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring in the ranch house almost as like it was someone's house. But they've now taken over an AC business and now run the AC yard at the back here. Um, so if we search AC in props, we should have quite a few. Can we filter to industrial? No, that doesn't really help. Okay. Well, we can do a few of these. Um, let's go ahead and get some AC units lined up in um, a few little... Actually, no. I'm not going to use prop line tools for these because otherwise they look too neat. You imagine there would be some kind of human factor to them to the fact they're not perfectly aligned. 
even though they are generally kind of laid out together. There's little tiny turns every now and again. It was a much more organic look to any kind of prop line work. And let's have a look at aircon as well. Yeah, there's loads of stuff here for this. And loads of it. Okay, um, how about a car dupe scrapyard with a waste processing complex Japan DLC build? Uh, we have scrapyards in Phoenix, um, and they just pile up, pile them up on each other. Uh, yeah, we've done scrapyard builds before. There'll certainly be more scrapyard builds. Um, there's some scrapyard vibes here, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I won't put a scrapyard in the park itself, not in this one. There's actually some, there's some really nice scrapyard configurations over by um, the Boneyard in Tucson, where you imagine they're sort of processing stuff. Um, they've got like planes in them, like the fuselages and stuff. Really cool. Uh, this big commercial AC unit, this seems like a nice time, doesn't it? So I think I actually want a pathway running through here, almost like access for the yard. And into various different supplies. Bring that through there. Let's come back into our props. Let's go ahead and get some of these big AC units in. Maybe just have them delivered. Go ahead and turn them over this way. Is that about it for air? Yep, okay, let's line up some of these props as well. If anybody wants to name sort of this particular air conditioning unit as well, guys, feel free to get it in the live chat. I didn't think we'd be building an air conditioning company today. The plan wants to do a park. Okay, let's mix and match some units too, so it's not all totally uniform. There we go, there's a horrible old knackered air conditioning unit here. Maybe this can be sort of over with spare parts and whatnot. And um, I'll say a fair amount of the trash props will probably work quite nicely around here too. Yes, the random trash prop is what I want. Some boxes, little bits of trash that maybe people have thrown over the fence. Um, some tyres maybe over at the back door. Some more trash up there. Perhaps a little pallet. Some boxes next to it. Let's actually get some crates as well. So there is some kind of... Crate storage here. Let's go ahead and drop in a few of our favourite Canadian crates. It's Vanilla City Skylines that's really missing things like this, you know, kind of like real quality of life props, things that you would expect to find in and around a city. Like there's there's a horrific lack of industrial props in the vanilla game. You have to rely on specific zoning, individual areas. Um okay. So, this oh, burnt out car would also be a good shout as well, here. Let's have one of those in. Um, there's an asset I'm thinking of. I saw some more AC stuff there. There we go, some heat pumps here. There we go. I'm having such a nice time. I'm glad to hear that, Jen. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, cool dudes, breezy, <laughs> breezy but cool face. I think Jane has just instantly won it. I don't think we're getting any better than that, are we? Okay, starting to look like some sort of industrial service yard, isn't it? Um, let's do the chain link fence in. Something like that. Um, yes, that's okay. Let's bring this up and behind. There we go. I can ask get a little cut through here on that angle. We'll move the props that clash with us. There we go. Oh, deleted it. Uh, let's bring this across. Gate for the pathway, and then just come into the back of the house and sorted. Cool. Let's get some long grasses through here as well. And um, all that AC and the workers in the house are sweating out. True. Well, this is just AC supplies, isn't it? Maybe they already have AC. Who knows? Um, 
Dan's Aircon and Dildo Emporium. Have I missed something, Josh? I get the aircon bit. I'm not entirely sure where the dildos came from, but... All right. And um, can we put a taxi depot in and name it after my new bestie, Mohammed? Yes, we can, Jan. Yes, taxi depot would actually work really nicely out here. Um, Let's go for... Taxi depot. Here. Can we angle this with the... um? The roads here. Something like that. And um, it is still connected, so we'll service paint the front of it so it sort of comes out here. There we go, we can see that straight line trying to make itself. There we go, we'll tidy up the roughness. And then I probably think this little country road can now just bend back into this node here. And then we'll come through with a little bit of um, I lost dry belt through the middle. Through here as well. Uh, I also want to grab some big sort of clusters of leafy trees with move it. Um, yeah, basically this is fine. And then we'll just fill out some of that space with a leafier looking tree. So, you know, just looking at a little building on Google Earth can just help you fill that tiniest little bit of space. Um, enormously handy. We need to name this after Muhammad as well. Sorry, Jen. Am I spelling that right? Is that the spelling of Muhammad? Or is it A at the end? Muhammad. Is that it? Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings is a good one. I do like Jane's name though. Breezy McBreeze Face or whatever it was is um is a good shout. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's a toxic looking site. The kind of job you want to work if you're part of the family. 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. Adi, I think you're behind in the stream, are you not? I think so. You're like delayed by like 10 minutes, <laughs> I think. He's about 10 minutes. Okay, there are so many really obvious fence networks missing too. Thin brick wall, low ledge. Yes, exactly, Freden. All that sort of stuff, mate, yeah. They were like crates and containers, spools of wire, etc. All that sort of thing is really missing from the vanilla game. Maybe in cities too. Right. It's really weird that we got a load of part props with industries, uh, with part life, sorry, but didn't get any industrial props with industries. Kind of annoying. But well, I think most people play the workshop now, don't they, anyway? So it's easily remedied. It's not like the most horrendous thing. And then a little tall tree up here in the corner. Sure. I think I'm happy with that, just as a little industrial space. There goes a taxi. There's Muhammad off for Jen, actually. Can we rename him before he goes? Taxi cab. Um, Muhammad is getting uh, Jen. There you go. So he is officially in Ilos now, Jen. There you go. He's driving away. Uh, right. Cool. Yes, yeah, so we'll name the, um, the business here. Uh, what was Jane's comment? I really like Jane's breezy McCool face. <laughs> yes. Yes, Jane. That's the one. Cool. So that's the air conditioning company uh, that we've got over here. I did just want some little grasses, though. Ooh. That's the second next snap of the stream. Yeah, just like, so it's trying to overgrow on oh, the back. Oh, I deleted my, um, my chain link fence. Like that. Yes. Cool. All right. I'm live for two and a half hours now. That's a, a really substantial space field. It doesn't look that impressive from the bird's eye view. It kind of looks a little bit weird and bland. But um, I love the road network shapes here. How this junction kind of snaps off to hold uh, the baseball fields. But we've just got a really cool little lakeside park here. We, we've had nothing really like this in Ilos. Lawrence Park is very like commercially driven. Like right at the foot of the skyline, it's very bold. It's uh, it's very cool. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Cool. Let's see. We want to leave the stream there, guys. I've been live for a little over two and a half hours. Uh, we want to throw on a nighttime view from today's park over to the downtown. Does that seem appropriate? 
we say goodbye here. See, there you go, Salesh. We're at minus 28 grand now. <laughs> it, it slowly makes money, just at 65% speed. It does get there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, should we get the park in the view? Yeah, there we go. Let's get the park. I love this little park here. This is... Yeah, we don't really get to do this in episodes. Um, because it's not really a Phoenix-style build to do a park, so they kind of get neglected in Ilos. But um, I'm glad we've done it today. It's been a... Uh, it's been a really fun build, like piecing this part together. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, Bad Wolf is here as well. And she just super chatted. That was so weird. I just saw your name coming, Bad Wolf. Welcome into the stream. And Bad Wolf with a two ninety nine Australian dollar super chat late fees. It's okay, Bad Wolf. <laughs> You're in Australia. <laughs> You're doing the super chat for being late. But thank you so much for the support, lovely. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we are going to go and chuck someone a host. We'll see if there's anyone streaming. No, there's a load of Korean channels streaming cities right now for some reason. That's really weird. We never see that. Very strange. Um. Anyway, who haven't we hosted? Um. Joy. Joy did her 5B last night, didn't she? Let's host Joy's 5B. Uh, okay. So there is a link in the live chat, guys. Um. To. Um. Joy's. What oh, do you guys want? Outro music. You really? Alright. And um, there's a link to Joy's 5B in the um what do you want Exe Timeless? In the live chat. So I'm having two different conversations at once. Um Right, okay, you guys should be able to hear this, I think, right? Let me nudge it up to the Yeah, okay. Here we go. It's gonna be a little bit loud, I'll say. This is such a convoluted end to the stream. Right. <laughs> So yeah, thank you for the support on the stream, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll shout out some of the regulars. Uh, we've got Star Stuff, uh, Freedon, Lauren, Karina, Exy, Jason, Deaxis, uh, Lauren again, DM, 2C, uh, Jude, everyone else that's been here, Bad Wolf, um, Jane, uh, Krishnendu, Arde, so many people, so many legends. Thank you for hanging out, guys, and supporting the streams. Um, I really appreciate it all. Oh, hope you're still enjoying them. Um, as always, uh, please feel free to come back and leave a like and a comment on the stream VOD after it's done if you want to help support the channel further. That really does go a long way to getting more people seeing these sorts of things. And thank you for all the um, ideas and inputs on today's park as well. It's took out really nicely and filled a big old chunk of the Margrid frames here too, uh, which was much needed. This area of the Margrid was uh, pretty empty. Um, in terms of next week, can you guys even hear me over that music? Seems really loud. <laughs> but alright. Um, I'm in 5B next week, and then Ilos, Noob's Guide, and Creative Mode as normal. And you guys will have some fun. I'm away with friends next weekend, so you guys will have no Ilos stream. And But it will return, of course, the week after. Otherwise, let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Well, that was perfect. That was right at the end of Timeless. <laughs> that was amazing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Love you all. Enjoy your weekends. Bye.